In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use the IDT oligoanalyzer tool to identify essential oligonucleotide properties, including melting temperature, dimers, hairpins, and more. By watching, you'll learn how to use this free online tool to gain insight into the behavior of your oligo sequences when designing assays. Find the oligoanalyzer tool in the tools drop-down menu on the IDT homepage under Oligo Design and Handling. Log in using your IDT username and password so you can get the most valuable information from the Oligo Analyzer tool. We'll show you its most popular functions. You can see these in the button list on the right hand side of the page. For the first step, type in your sequence or cut and paste in from another source in the five prime to three prime direction. Batch entry is used to enter sequences in FASTA format or an Excel file. Batch entries will provide you with select physical properties of the sequence, such as melting temperature. By selecting the Analyze button, you'll get an overview of physical properties of your sequence, including sequence characteristics, melting temperature, and conversion factors for concentration calculations. The melting temperature of the oligo will vary depending on parameters shown on the initial screen. For the most accurate melting temperature, use your specific reaction conditions. If you're doing PCR or qPCR, you can also use the qPCR parameter set. The default specification sheet conditions may not accurately reflect your experimental conditions. Tools other than the IDT oligoanalyzer may give you different melting temperatures. Different results are due to differences in the algorithm and default parameters and oligo conditions. IDT's tool incorporates external and internal research, including several thousand ultraviolet and calimetric melting experiments. The IDT Oligo Analyzer tool is a highly trusted resource and was used over 600,000 times last year. While in the Analyze function, you're also able to link directly to IDT's resuspension and dilution calculators. These easy to use tools quickly and accurately calculate the volumes for resuspension and dilutions of oligos. Predict possible side reaction structures that can compete with the formation of the oligo target. Conduct a dimer analysis. When you select self dimer, you will see the predicted dimer structure listed top to bottom, from the most stable to the least stable structure. Dimers are reported using Gibbs free energy or delta G. The more negative the delta G value, the more stable the dimer structure. When designing primer length oligos, you generally want the delta G for the dimer structure to be less negative than negative 9, as shown in the negative 4.16 delta G for this first structure. This is not an absolute requirement, but it can serve as a starting point. Let's look at another example. The second structure shows four annealing bases at the three prime end of the oligo. When both primers have four or more matches on the three prime end and a delta G value more negative than negative six, you risk getting an extendable primer. In that case, we would suggest redesigning the oligo if possible. Note that the max delta G is also given. This is the delta G calculated for oligo binding to its perfect complement. The further this value is from the dimer value, the larger fraction of oligos that will anneal to the target rather than dimerizing. The blue box above the structures also provides helpful information on dimers. Next, we'll look at the heterodimer function, which is similar to what we saw with the self-dimer function. However, with heterodimers, you'll enter a second sequence because you're evaluating the potential for two different sequences to hybridize together. For example, you could assess the likelihood of your forward primer dimerizing to your reverse primer in a PCR reaction. You could also assess multiplexing applications. 
select the hairpin button to check the potential for the oligo sequence to fold into a secondary structure. To avoid this, the hairpin melting temperatures should be lower than your specific reaction temperature. A higher number of stable hairpin structures at your reaction temperature also indicate a reduction in the oligo's efficiency and speed in binding to its target. There are many other features available in the IDT Oligo Analyzer tool, including the ability to add a sequence to an order using the Add to Order button. There's also an NCBI blast function, as well as a melting temperature mismatch function. If you ever need a bit of help, the definitions tab provides descriptions of many terms. It also has background information, including algorithms and references. We hope this tutorial makes it easier for you to use the IDT Oligo Analyzer to assess your Oligo sequences before ordering them. IDT also offers many other tools to help you design custom sequences. We hope you make use of those tools as well. Let us know if you have any questions. We're here to help you with the Oligo Analyzer tool or any of our online tools.